Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello, my students, to lesson number nine. This lesson will talk about conditioning. Let's do the first task or the first exercise. Exercise number A. Here we have a picture. A picture of two mice and here a scientist. Look at the cartoon below. Draw lines to place each remark in the correct bubble. Here we have two saying or let's say two remark. The first one is It's great. Every time I press the lever, he gives us food. And the second remark is, it's great. Every time they press the lever, I give them food. Here the first remark is said by by the mouse by the mouse and the second one is said by the scientist by this scientist so here we can put this sentence the first one we put it here in this bubble whereas the second one I mean it's great every time they press the lever I give them food we put this in this bubble I mean the bubble of the scientist now let's do the following task task number B here here are the answers Practice number B, the cartoon is based on a well-known experiment used by psychologists to show how we learn. Complete the description using the words from the books. The cartoon is based on a well-known experiment used by psychologists to show how we learn. Complete the description using the words from the books. We have the following words in the books. Number one, reward. Number two, liver. We have to use it twice. Three, food. Also here we have to use it twice. Need, books, door, behavior, experiment, and process. So we want to fill in the spaces with these 11 or these words but we have 11 spaces. Let's read the text. A hungry rat is placed in a box. A hungry rat is placed in a box where a lover opens the door where a lever opens the door to a container of food to a container of food if by chance the rat presses the lever and receives some food it will soon learn how to do it again if by chance the rat presses the lever and receives some food, it will soon learn how to do it again. Psychologists call this learning process Psychologists call this learning process conditioning. Food is a basic need. Food is a basic need. And the rat receives the food 
as a reward. The rat receives the food as a reward for learning to press or press the lever. This simple experiment this simple experiment can be used to explain more complex behavior. So this simple experiment can be used to explain more complex behavior in both animals and human beings. Now after filling in the spaces with these words, you can see you can see my students the answers in front of you. You can write them down in your books and after that we can move to something else. Number D. Some psychologists believe in a principle called behaviorism which is based on this re research choose the correct words or phrases to complete the recommendations some psychologists believe in a principle which is called behaviorism which is based on this research choose the correct words or phrases to complete the recommendations. Number one. Learning should question or grow from what we already know. Yeah, learning should grow from what we already know. The second choice is the true one. Number two. We should learn step by step or without understanding. No, we should learn step by step. Number three, early learning should continue to be punished or rewarded from time to time. Early learning should be, should continue to be rewarded from time to time. Here are the answers also. The first one is grow from. The second one is step by step. And the third word is rewarded. Now let's do exercise number A on our workbook page number 36. To conclude the lesson after that. The exercise says, read the famous saying by Russell below, then write a few sentences to explain what you think he meant by this. And finally, do you agree with this saying? Do you agree with this saying? The saying is, man is born free, but everywhere he is in chains. Man is born free, but everywhere he is in chains. The answers here, or the answer here, we are as human beings born free of any influence from anything else. But unfortunately, the environment around us affect the environment around us affects us every now and then and sometimes the society affects us also this is the meaning of this saying and we can agree with we agree with this say, saying i mean to some extent now after dealing with this saying the man is free or the man is born free we can conclude this lesson this is number nine so 
I want to say to everybody of you goodbye.